Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rumoa and I am creating pictures. First of all, thank you so much again for being here, for liking this video and leaving a comment. Please do this if you still didn't do this. Second of all, one of you has mentioned that my sockets are really distracting, so now I have a paper folder here. I hope it's less destructive, so we will see. The main inspiration for the shoot was a color. And if you are not new on this channel, you know I love the colors. I like to have different eyeshadows, different lips, different accessories, different clothes. And I like to mix color a lot. So for me, it's really hard to stick with just monochromatic pattern of the color. And this was a challenge what I was ready to embrace. So, as usually, all of my shoots start with the clothes, and for this one, at first, I have just the fabric. And because the fabric have like very vibrant color, I decided to concentrate on the feet. And I really want to have something unusual and very interesting and very intriguing. And in the end, I ended up to having Sub Zero from a Mortal Kombat. I don't know how this happened, but that happened. The fabric for this one was a really complicated project because, first of all, it's extremely messy. My whole apartment was full of this blue ribbon thing so, for so many days. Second of all, it's really slippery, so it's really hard to work. But I wasn't scared of its complication and I start with folding all of my sleeves and all of my body. Unfortunately, it's a very time-consuming process, but it definitely worth it because the texture looking so great. So then actually I sew it all together and I use a lot of ribbons to give it like more store effect, like I really bought it and not like I make it. It was definitely time-consuming. Do I want to repeat this ever? No. The accessories was really tricky because originally, because I want to concentrate on the color, I don't want to overdo the accessories and I just have this amazing earrings. They are blue and they're transparent. And then I realized I really want to bring the makeup to the next level. So I ended up to having this tears that are really dimensional and they have a lot of color and then i was looking at them and thinking that would be so cool if they would be transparent unfortunately i cannot show you the transparent uh, tears because they completely melted because i made them out of a sugar so i start with the earring and i use the resign to get this glossy and transparent look then i use a pigment to get more to my theme and to the blue color and then i start working on my tears and my first attempt was using a glue gun and i really want to have this like 3d element so i use the water so my tears would be even in all three dimensions unfortunately the transparent glue stick was it wasn't transparent at all, it was completely white, but I wasn't as upset because I decided I will color them with my airbrush and then they'll be like blue and white and it will be fine. Then I realized I don't have enough pigment so I just bought a blue chalk and I just melted it together and I decided I will use it for my tears. And for my tears I just used a sugar and I melted it. My model for this was Jana, and we already worked before and I know she's very skilled and very talented. So for this look we decided to have this like two braids and I even elongate them more with the fabric that I used for my blouse. And for the makeup, because it's monochromatic makeup, I have this like very dark intensive eyes and a lot, a lot of gloss, like a lip gloss, the eye gloss, everything should be shining and amazing. So working with Jana is a lot of fun. She always telling you this hilarious story about her experience in modeling, so it was a blast. We start with the hair and I have this like two braids, one smaller, one big one with a lot of ribbons. And then I just have this amazing cat eye with a signature blue color. And then we add up a lot of gloss, fix the skin, and this is how I create this look. 
The setup for this one was really tricky because I had a particular shot in my mind and I really want to do this. So at first we started with just a white background and then actually I have this like piece of paper lying in front of my model and she pours through this like a landscape and then I realized it doesn't have enough texture so actually I have this pigment, it was the same color as my theme and I spread it all over this paper and it was like really cool and this was exactly the shot I wanted. Just to be safe, we start with a normal portrait because I didn't knew at the moment will my ideas work or will it not. So we start with just a portrait on a white wall. Then it was time to introduce the paper to the shot. Unfortunately, it was a lot of adjusting because it was hard for me to shoot, it was hard for Jana to work, but in the end we figure out how it should go and then it was time to add up the pigment. The pigment was very bright and very cool, but unfortunately I didn't have this enough for my dream shot, but it was still good. Then it was time to shoot with the tears and unfortunately the sugar tears was melting on Jana's face because she is a human, she have a body temperature and it was way too hot for this tear, so it was a very fast production. The next set of tears was better and we have more time to work with. The end result actually is very interesting because first of all it's definitely not my style. Second of all, because I have a lot of variety of shots, it's really helping with taking the pictures to the next level. And Jeanne is very high fashion model, so she brings a lot of these high fashion poses, very strong face. It's also helping to elevate the shot a lot. And you know the monochromatic colors is not my theme and here I was limiting myself as hard as I could. So it was very interesting challenge and the result is very unusual for me. So this is the end of my YouTube video. Thank you so much again for being here. If you can, please support me on Patreon, your donation will mean a lot, and I hope I will see you next Tuesday.